Okay, today we're going to be doing another workout for you, showing you our last workout of kind of the split. You've seen our back and tricep workout, you've seen our chest and bicep workout, you've seen our shoulder and ab workout. We're going to wrap up the last of this four day split and that's our legs workout. We're going to throw a little bit of our core low back exercises and rotator cuff in there just to round out some little muscles that we haven't hit throughout the week. So the workouts we do right now are a four day split. So these four workouts we would complete all in one week. We've kind of shown you them over a four week period. Each four weeks we switch it up and change up the exercise that we do. And then every few months after that, we'll also change up the split. So we're doing different muscles on different days and things like that. So next week we'll be showing you a new chest and bicep workout. So we'll get started. Starting with a leg press, we're gonna be doing a build. So we're gonna do our first set with two plates and then each set we're gonna add another plate on. We're doing a kind of normal distance, but a squat distance with the feet. I'm putting a medicine ball in between the knees just to help isolate our advanced to slide around a little bit more. Weight in the heels, push it up, unlock it, coming down to 90 degrees, weight in the heels, soft walk at the top, and coming right back down. We're going to do 15 repetitions each set and keep building on this. Emily's on her second set, so she did her first set with those two plates, same. And now we've got a third plate on there. Nice and smooth, 90 degrees, pushing through the heels, squeezing that medicine ball in between. We're supersetting our leg press with a cable internal rotation, working our rotator cuff. So we're gonna step away from the machine, keeping the trap and shoulder down, elbow glued to your side, stretching open as far as you can. You might find you're a little tight and can only open up to here, but stretch as far as you can, keeping your elbow attached to your side. And then you're going to fold the arm across the body here, opening back out as far as you can stretch, and then pulling back across. The main kind of form things that happen with this is people want to come up and over, try not to do that, and also letting that elbow drop open to the side. You don't want to do that either. So keep that trap and shoulder down, elbow glued, and fold across, straight across the body. So Emily's moving on up. We got five plates on there, so she's done a set with two, three, four, and now five. So many sets of leg press. We're done with our internal rotation. We're going to start supersetting hyperextension. So, like I said, we're going to be working our low back today as well. What you want to make sure for this machine is that you set it up so that when you hop on, your hip top of your hip bones are right at the top of the pad. That way, it's not going to dig into your stomach. You're going to be able to get the nice momentum rotation on the way down. What we're looking to do is essentially a crunch, but in reverse. So, think of doing a crunch on the mat. You curl down and then you go back to that flat lay back on the mat. So we don't want to hyperextend, I don't want you to come back here because that's going to be dangerous for your spine. I only want you to come back to a neutral spine here. And we're going to do it with some added weight. So I'm going to grab the plate here, hold it to my chest, curl like a crunch, and come back right to neutral. That way we're working the spine the way it's meant to, and we're not putting any stress or strain on the actual joints of your spine. So, last set, fully loaded. We've worked our way up to seven plates on here. Total of about 750 pounds. Still aiming to get to that 15. Emily's worked her way all the way up there too. Seven plates. Doing well. walking lunges. So, so far we've done that build on the leg press where we superset the first half of those sets with our internal rotation, second half with some hyperextensions. Now we're going to do walking lunges and we're going to superset them with a standing single-legged dumbbell calf raise, which I'll show you a little bit later. What you see I'm wearing right now are some lifting straps. I'm holding heavy dumbbells when doing the walking lunges and I find that my forearms, my grip will tend to give out prior to my legs. 
So if you find that happening and aren't for some reason trying to emphasize grip strength in your workouts, it's handy to have these because you're strapping yourself into the weights. That way your legs can do the lifting that you want them to do and the grip won't fatigue during, or at least it kind of extends it for a much longer period. So I've got the straps on. I'm gonna wrap myself into the dumbbells here. Just aids in that grip. Obviously, there are definitely people who wanna work grip strength or wanna emphasize their forearms for some reason. Um, so they want that to happen. So by all means, if, you don't, if you're not lifting super heavy weights or if you wanna use your grip, great. Um, go ahead, otherwise, uh, go ahead and strap yourself in if you're finding you wanna really work those legs a little more. So form with these walking lunges, I'm gonna start back here. What we wanna make sure is that both legs are bending to 90 degrees, that you're always pulling with the front foot not pushing off the back. And always try to emphasize that you're using your glutes, not your quads. So think of it more as a pull as, a as opposed to a push. So we're lunging forward, 90 degree bend, pulling with that front foot. So that was my left leg lunging forward. Now I'm gonna work my right glute. The back leg is there just to kind of stabilize. Don't push off with it. And keep on walking forward. Emily's doing walking lunges too, but just some body weight ones. Still same form though, keeping her chest up, activating through the core, pulling through the front heel, back foot's there just for stability. Okay, so now I finished my walking lunges, catch my breath for a second, and then we're gonna do our standing dumbbell calves. I'm gonna be using the same dumbbell. So just holding the one, because the other hand I'm gonna use to stabilize, make sure I don't fall over, because I'll be standing on one foot. You can also do these you know, slower and just do body weight, a little lighter, depending on what rep range you want to do. I'm going to go for a dozen. We're going to do 12 reps today. So I've strapped myself in again, take my dumbbell. I'm elevating my foot, that way I can stretch past parallel. So I'm going to step up on here. Just the ball of the foot is on it, my heel's hanging off. Stretch as low as I can and as high as I can with a nice, smooth, steady movement. Emily's doing the calves as well. She's just doing body weight, but going nice and slow, still making sure she's stretching all the way down and coming all the way up. The other thing to note on the calves is always make sure, like you can see, she's holding on, but just hold on for stability. As your calves start to fatigue, there's a tendency to want to push off with that hand, but resist it. Just use it there so you're not tipping over, giving yourself some stability. And a glute stretch. Um, I'm throwing a glute stretch in there just because I've got a tight spot right now. But what you can do is figure out, you know, the main muscles you work today. Make sure you incorporate some of those stretches after the workout, which we did do quite a bit of glute today, some of those walking lunges. But you also can stretch your quads out from the leg press as well. But the hamstring curl we're doing, hooking my foot into the cable here, elevating my other foot. That way when I come back down to straight, I don't have to lift this hip up and it won't scrape against the ground. The main form thing on this one that I tend to find with clients is that we need to keep the knees in line with each other. That weight's attached to the foot, so it tends to pull that knee forward. I want to keep it back and in line with the other one. I'm curling that heel up, coming down to almost straight, and then curling back up towards my butt, working right on the back of the thigh. 